Hello! Welcome to this video. In today's lesson I will be teaching you how to use the tricky prepositions into, in, and, in, to. All right? Well actually this here is a preposition in plus an infinitive. All right? So don't get confused with that one. In means position or location. Into means several things. Making contact, entering something or somewhere, inside of, or to change form. And in two is in preceding an infinitive. We have four examples here written on the board. The first one says, we ran into Tom in the mall. Into here <coughs> refers to making contact. We ran into Tom in the mall. The next one says, they are getting into the building. Into here makes reference to entering somewhere. They are getting into the building. The next one says, she is in her classroom. In here makes reference to a location. Where is she located? She is in her classroom. And the last one says, they came in to bring her a present. It is in plus an infinitive. Sometimes in precedes an infinitive and many times it doesn't. But do not get confused. It is not into. It is in to bring her a present, not into. All right? Well, next I will give you more practice examples and sentences so that you can practice with me and master this topic because it's it is very, very important that you learn how to differentiate between these two prepositions and this preposition preceding an infinitive. Now, we have a very simple practice exercise. Well, actually, two practice sentences. You are simply going to help me decide which of these prepositions to use. We already know that in to means that means um, that we are using the preposition in preceding an infinitive. For example, she came in to hug her mom. Okay? So we are going to leave this one out for now and we are going to talk about in and into. The first one says, he walked blank the room silently. You could say, he walked in the room silently but it would sound a little bit more, more co coherent if you said he walked into the room silently, which means he entered the room silently. And the, the last one says he is not blank his room. His room is a location. So we know that when we are talking about location or position, we are going to use a preposition in. He is not in his room. So it is very, very simple when you look at it this way. In position, location, into making contact, entering, inside of, or to change form, etc. And into is just the preposition in before or preceding a noun. Next, I will leave you some homework. If you need to, please write down these definitions somewhere so that you don't get confused in the future. For homework, this is a very, very simple assignment. You are simply just going to write four sentences using in, into, and in to, which is a preposition in before an infinitive. She came in to brush her teeth, okay? Or she went in to brush her teeth or to hug her mother or etc. okay? Well, 
Leave your homework in the comment section below this video. And if you like this video, please let me know. It is very important for me that you understand what I um, try to explain to you. And if you don't like it or you don't understand what I am talking about, please let me know also because the feedback is very important to improve my lessons and to help you improve your English. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. And for those of you who have a workbook, Go ahead and do it in your workbook too. See you later. Would you like to watch my next video? video. Click on the television to the right. In today's lesson, I will be talking to you about some very common tricky adjectives and adverbs.